we're cutting calories in the spring, kind of staying on track with that New Year's resolution, grilling a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So I have Chef Brandon here from Bacasha's in downtown Toledo, one of my favorite places to go. That's and nice. we, you know that I love kebabs. Uh, yeah. So that you brought a recipe for me, and since it's April, Oh, it's gonna be a Joker's kebab. <laughs> okay, deconstructed kebabs. There what we do go. We need that to do works first? too. I've got something um, great over here. We're gonna need to get the pineapple okay. cut down. Can I do that while you're doing yeah, this? Yeah, of course. So, okay. what do we um, here? a lot of people take tenderloins and they'll turn them into kebabs or cut them down because it's a smaller, easier cut. But they have this little tendon running through them. Okay. So you kind of want to expose that a little bit. Okay. A little Let me see tough. That. Mm -hmm. What did that be? Oh, yep, I can. Right there. Yeah, got it. Okay. Got it. So okay. just that little guy in there. You'll grab it here with a napkin and just get underneath it with a fork. I just usually cut the little end of it off, mm -hmm. but you're saying I can get rid of the whole thing. Yeah. Just one yeah. little swipe. It's a little tough to get a grip on, but once you do... Get ah, a grip, Brandon. Ah, I know, I'm having <laughs> a tough time with it. Mm -hmm. You can pull right through them most okay. of the time. So this guy's okay. not working with me, but... Try the next one. Yeah, we can try that next I'm one. I'm just going to keep whizzing on this pineapple. That pole. works. So... I don't know how you do your pineapple, but I'm going for it the way I do it, the pineapple, okay? You're gonna take the tendons out of each one of our tenderloins, mm -hmm. right? There we go, I had the knife on the, or oh. the fork backwards. Okay. <laughs> Such a <laughs> joker. <Sounds> like <laughs> <laughs> that was quite a joke. <laughs> See, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> so you just grab it, give it a little tug, pull through. Oh, that really works easy, okay. Mm -hmm. For most it does, apparently I'm having trouble. There okay. we go. <laughs> Now, how big do you want the pineapple? Uh, that can be like a medium dice. It doesn't have to be too fine. I mean, a lot of these, you know, it's going to be nice and easy just to cook when, you know, you're just getting off work, kind of just coming home. You okay. know, it doesn't have to be too specific. It'll okay. cook down nicely. Just a cube? Yeah, okay. just a nice mid-sized cube mm -hmm. should be okay. good. I'm showing off here my knife skills for Ooh, you. They're working pretty that, good. Huh? Yeah. I did invest in some good knives. That's yeah. a good thing to have in the kitchen. Yeah, good knife. So. I mean, sharp knife makes it so much easier when you're cut trying to cut. myself that much faster. I don't know about all that. <laughs> I think Chef, Chef, uh, Chef Joe would say that for me. Yeah. Cut yourself a little faster that way. Okay, I'm chopping the pineapple up. I do mm -hmm. love pineapple with chicken. So It's delicious. It kind of gives you like a little bit of a Caribbean feel to okay. it at the same time, I guess. Chef. Thank you. I yep. appreciate it. Um, okay, and I don't, I mean, I like to mix it up a little bit when I mm -hmm. do my kebabs. So can we do a little shrimp? Yeah, we're okay. going to throw a little bit of shrimp All in there right, today, yeah. a little bit of peppers and onions. Okay. Yep, and it looks like you have some of my favorite foods there, garlic on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a little bit of onion. Whoa! Hold on, everybody. There's a speed limit in this kitchen, sir. Sorry, let me turn <laughs> Five, down. Five, four, three, two, da, da, da. <laughs> Look, you can, do, you can even talk and do puzzles while you're I try, huh? I try. Very nice. <laughs> so, nice little mince okay. on the garlic. Okay. Uh, we're going to do about four cloves for what we got going here. Okay. Um, nice. Our shrimp that is already peeled into vein, okay. so it's ready to go. I can um, buy it like that if I don't know. Yes, right. most okay. definitely. Sometimes okay. it'll come frozen, okay. but I mean, just a little cool water on it. We'll work that, that out. Thaw. Yep. So we just good. got our shrimp right here. Shrimp, chicken, chicken. all the goods. What yep. about the pepper? Pepper, Leave we're gonna now. cut that down, julienne that. I'm letting you do that. Show me the tricks. So. Does it matter what color? Nah, I mean, it really depends on your flavor that you want, more mm -hmm. or less. So do you know much about a pepper, male and female? Not necessarily. Don't know, no. okay, the, 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 mm -hmm. the female has four bumps, and the male has three bumps. Oh, nice. Taught you how to clean ah, tender lines. <laughs> they taste the same. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> I just thought I would tell you that. The gardener in me. <laughs> gotcha. I like to learn something new every day. The ones with the four bumps, though, they sit on a table well, easier. Definitely. Like for using that for a dip. <laughs> well, you can cook with either one. So. Right? Yes. So here's okay. no oh, waste. Okay. Pretty Very much. easy. Yeah. And we'll dice all this down. So I, yeah, you do a bit, much better job at that than I do. Um, well, I mean, you get that membrane out of there, and then it really just cleans it up a lot, right? Exactly. Okay. And I mean, like for something like this, you don't have to have an exact cut. Okay. It can be a little rough. I mean, yeah. it's all gonna cook down. And yeah, it's a kebab. Yeah, exactly. It's fun. Deconstruct it. I don't really know what that means, but we'll figure it out here in a second because Chef Brandon's got the mm -hmm. got the goods here. All there right. There we go. Now what? Onto the uh, stove top. Correct. Can I put it on the grill too? You can. I could. Um, you no? could do it like in a wok if you wanted okay. to. I mean, but if you want to scare them and take that extra time, there you go. The whole point was to deconstruct the kebab. So let's get all the good stuff. Put it on the stove. Sounds all right. good. Sounds good. 
Got all our goods over here, oh, Chef. Yeah. One and a two. Okay, so mm -hmm. I've got the pan, a little bit of oil on the bottom. Okay. I've been heating it up for you while you were chopping up the chicken. Mm -hmm. So stir frying all of it? Yep. We're going to start with the chicken, though, because it has a little bit longer of a cook time. You want to put the onion with it? Does it matter? Um, I mean, it really depends on the flavor profile that you're looking for personally. Okay. I mean, if you want a little more onion flavor, go for it. I like onion, cooked onion. Cooked onion. But a I, raw onion will chase me right out of the kitchen. Yeah, so I've heard. Joe, <laughs> Joe's told me. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. yeah. So you'll let this cook down for about okay. two to three minutes. Okay. You know, they're kind of a thinner cut if you use a tenderloin, so it's going to cook up pretty fast. Okay. Then and, one, and tenderloin is what I would typically use for my, my uh, kebab. Yes, exactly. Right? They're real easy to, to skewer if you yeah. do put them on the kebab. But since we're deconstructing it and kind of thinking like, you know, I want to get dinner done, yeah. I want to relax yeah. after a work day, let's cut it down and make it deconstruct. And we're really cutting calories. Uh, kebabs are good for that. But exactly. They, I hate it that some of my vegetables cook quicker than mm -hmm. my meat. Yeah, you don't So have... what's this? Yeah, well, with, probably a good way. with this, you don't really have to worry about charring anything yeah. up. I mean, if you like that flavor, it's great, but mm -hmm. some people just don't like it. So, yeah. like, this will kind of make it easier. There's no butter, no added okay. sugars. The pineapple is going to give you okay. your sweetness. Good. Good. Under 500 calories is a good thing. Yes. You've got one side done. Do I need to put the shrimp in this at the end? Right? That will be very close to the very end. So, we'll just Whoa. give this a little nice flick. Flip. All right. And at this point, we'll add all the veggies in. All right, I'll take that from you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate it, Kelly. Great. Oh, you probably need some tongs or something. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, I'll grab some. Thank you. So for this, we're going to go, we'll start with the medium high, but we'll turn it up to a high. Usually when I do that, it goes all over the floor. Well, see, so I don't know what the trick most is, so. people <laughs> think that you're supposed to bring it back towards yeah, yourself, yeah. but you kind of go down and then flick back. Okay. So you're kind of, go ahead, try it. I'm afraid. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, nice. So just nice. a little okay. flick there. I'll practice in the tub so that I don't get all over. Okay, all right, that works. <laughs> get all, over. all right, at this point, we can add in our pineapple. Ready, all right. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's my oregano all over the board. Yeah, there's worse things in life. I have lots of help to clean it up later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the sweetness in uh, a savory dish, so I really like pineapple. Yeah, and then we're going to add a little bit of oregano in there to kind of help smooth it out and add a little bit of earthiness. Well, look at all this oregano I have here. Exactly, we've got more than enough. <laughs> oh, at this point, okay. we're kind of starting to get a little bit of a steam on there, and right. we don't want that pineapple to break down too much, okay. so it still keeps that. Okay. And so, your chicken isn't all the way done yet, either, exactly. so that's okay. Yep, so we're going to nice. add our shrimp in, let okay. those start cooking. And if anything, we might have to throw a lid on top of this okay. just to kind of help steam it up some, but I don't see it being too big of a okay. problem. Well, we not, now we need to get the onions cooked, right? Yes, okay. the onions and all of the peppers and all of our proteins are going right. to cook right. about two to three minutes, I'd say. We just let that there steam for a minute, but I don't know, I can see the juices from the pineapple are in there. Mm -hmm. You need some oregano now? Yeah, Chef? just a nice okay. little pinch in here. I wouldn't even say a full tablespoon, about okay. half a one, if that. Okay. Just a yeah. touch. I more. noticed that go. you have not put any salt or pepper on this. Oh, I'm no. I'm anxious to try this. Freshness is key, honestly, and okay. everything, the way it's cooking, is going to be okay. your flavoring and seasoning for your proteins yeah. in here. This I'd, looks a lot prettier than my... Shish kebabs. Oh, well, yeah, they're not burnt and charred. <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> so we'll give this a light squeeze of lemon. All right. Keeping the lemon seeds yeah. out. And, and it's up. true focaccia style. Correct. Fresh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everything straight from the garden yeah. as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I think we're good to go All here, right. honestly. Open in the bowl. All right. We don't eat like heathens. Oh. Today. Not today. <laughs> not today. All right. I think my family's gonna like this one. Okay. I would hope so. Mine right. loves it. Right here. Look at that steam. Oh, it smells hot. so it's good, hot. doesn't it's hot. it? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's gonna scald my mouth, but I can't wait to try it. I'll try a piece of the pineapple. Excitement. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Ah, fresh. Really good. Mm -hmm. Everything's cooked thoroughly, and it's a deconstructed shish kebab. Mm -hmm. All the ingredients you might normally have in your shish kebab with your peppers, your onions, your fruit, and your couple of different proteins. Mm -hmm. You can what? do this with chicken, shrimp, or steak, excuse me. Or steak, awesome, Golden. I love it. And it's a great spring dish that can also cut some calories out of your meal plan. And this 
It's what's for supper. 